Well, it's not the Dallas Cowboys' billion-dollar palace. The new APS football stadium will be met with serious excitement and relief. Crews are working hard and fast to get the Westside Stadium done for the start of next football season. News 13's Tina Jensen got a tour, and the players are going to like what they see. There'll be nothing like this in the state of New Mexico and really in the region. Crews broke ground nine months ago on the $38 million Westside Community Stadium project. It's now on track to be done in June, ready for APS football in August. And when it's ready, it will get used a lot. The West Side Stadium is only the third football stadium for the entire district. There will be 80 games played there between August and Thanksgiving. Besides players and coaches, I think everybody in the community is excited. We, we haven't built a new stadium or opened a new facility of this sort since 1963. There's a lot of us standing around that weren't alive in 1963. The stands are empty right now, but starting in the fall, there's going to be up to 7,000 fans filling these seats. When you get a state championship football crowd in here, we'll, we'll fill it up. Uh, we had about 7,500 people at the state championship football game in December, so if we can host that here, we plan to have a great crowd and possibly some standing room only. On any given day, there are around 100 construction workers and engineers working to get the stadium completed. I think it's a whole benefit, not only for us, but for the community too. APS Chief Operating Officer Brad Winter says the stadium project has been five years in the making. Tell me a little bit about what this is going to look like. It's really cool because this is in a kind of in a bowl setting and we kind of did that on purpose because of wind issues and sound issues. We really worked hard with the neighborhood to, you know, to address their concerns. The stadium will have concession stands on each corner, a press box, a pathway that goes around the outside of the stadium and locker rooms that exit right out onto the field. And even though it's a dirt floor now, eventually it will have wall-to-wall -wall turf. It's the same artificial turf that they they have in New Orleans where they're playing the Super Bowl is going to be right here too. So, so it's we're going to have for the Super Bowl. That is exactly right. APS. So that's our okay. tie to the Super Bowl. Tina Jensen, KRQE News 13. There will also be a track and field next door with 2,000 seats. Eventually, APS would like to add football, or rather soft, softball and soccer fields to the complex and also build schools just across the street.